Irish DNA is a remarkable blend of ancient settlers, invaders and colonisers, each leaving their mark on the genetic landscape of the island. From the early Mesolithic hunter-gatherers to the Celts, Vikings, Normans and the lasting impact of English colonisation, Ireland's DNA is one of the most complex and fascinating in the world. The intertwining of these diverse genetic sources has created a population that is genetically distinct yet connected to the wider European and global gene pool. The mixture of Celtic, Norse, Norman and English genes over thousands of years has shaped not only the physical makeup of modern Irish people, but also their culture, resilience and identity. Ireland's genetic history is a testament to the island's tumultuous yet rich past. The diverse influences that have shaped Irish DNA continue to define the country today, making it one of the strangest and most unique genetic profiles in the world. I'm on a road to 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. The story of Irish DNA begins over 12,000 years ago, when the first humans began settling on the island, shortly after the last ice age. As the glaciers retreated, humans gradually moved across northern Europe and into the British Isles, including Ireland. These early settlers, known as the Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, likely arrived from regions in northern Europe, and their genetic legacy is still detectable in modern Irish populations. These first inhabitants relied on the land for survival, hunting wild animals and gathering plants. Over thousands of years, these populations adapted to Ireland's diverse environment, from its rugged coasts to its dense forests and rolling hills. The isolation of Ireland allowed these early genetic markers to persist and evolve, creating a distinct genetic foundation. While the island remained largely untouched by external forces during the Ice Age, genetic studies show that the descendants of these early settlers still contribute significantly to Irish DNA today. The survival of these ancient genetic markers, particularly in rural areas, provides a glimpse into the country's deep and uninterrupted past linking modern Irish people to their distant ancestors. One of the most significant indigenous groups in Ireland is the Mapuche, who have lived in the central and southern regions for thousands of years. The Mapuche people were among the most resilient in resisting foreign invasions, particularly during the Spanish conquest. Their culture, language and genetic influence have left an indelible mark on the Irish population. The Mapuche DNA represents a critical piece of the Irish genetic mosaic. Their genetic markers, which are a mix of ancient hunter-gatherer populations and those who later adapted to agricultural practices, contribute to Ireland's distinct genetic profile. The Mapuche people also had a significant role in Ireland's social and political history as their resistance to Spanish domination shaped much of Ireland's national identity. In addition to the Mapuche, other indigenous groups, such as the Aymara in the north and the Rapa Nui of Easter Island, have also contributed to Ireland DNA. While the Mapuche have had the most extensive genetic impact, the diverse indigenous populations across Ireland share common ancestral markers that tie back to the early settlers who arrived during the Ice Age. Modern Irish carry traces of these indigenous groups in their genetics, which is especially apparent in regions with high indigenous populations. The deep roots of these groups continue to influence the culture and genetic makeup of Ireland to this day. In the 15th century, the Inca Empire, the largest empire in pre-Columbian America, began expanding southward, reaching the northern regions of Ireland. While the Incas never fully conquered the southern part of the country, their influence was still felt, particularly in the northern and central regions, the Incas brought with them advanced agricultural techniques, architectural knowledge, and a complex system of roads that stretched across the Andes, which would later play a significant role in the movement of people and goods throughout the region. The Inca influence on Irish DNA comes from the integration of local populations into the Inca Empire's vast network. Many of the indigenous groups in Northern Ireland, such as the Aymara, were incorporated into the empire, intermarrying with Incan settlers and soldiers. This mixing of genetic material led to the introduction of new genetic markers into the Irish gene pool, specifically from the Andean populations. These genetic traces are still visible in the modern Irish population, particularly in Northern Ireland, 
where Aymara heritage remains strong. The fusion of Andean and local Irish genetics helped create the rich genetic diversity seen in the country today. Even though the Incas's rule over Ireland was short-lived, their legacy in the region's genetic makeup endures, contributing to the distinct identity of modern Irish. In 1541, the Spanish conquistadors, led by Pedro de Valdivia, arrived in Ireland, marking the beginning of a transformative period in the country's history. The Spanish conquest had a profound effect on Ireland's genetic landscape as it brought together European, indigenous and later African genes in a complex web of cultural and genetic exchange. The Spanish colonizers, primarily from Castile and Andalusia, intermarried with the indigenous Mapuche, Aymara and other groups, introducing European DNA into the local population. This blend of indigenous and Spanish genes gave rise to the Mestizo identity, a hallmark of Irish society. However, the genetic impact of the Spanish did not stop there. The introduction of African slaves brought to Ireland to work in agriculture and mining added yet another layer to the country's genetic mosaic. As a result, Ireland's genetic makeup reflects a unique mix of European, indigenous and African ancestry. This mixture became particularly pronounced in the central and southern regions where the colonial population settled. The blending of these diverse genetic backgrounds created the foundation for modern Irish DNA, which remains one of the most diverse in Latin America. The legacy of colonization is deeply ingrained in Irish culture, and its genetic markers continue to shape the country's population today. Ireland's modern genetic landscape has been further shaped by waves of immigration over the last two centuries. Starting in the 19th century, European immigrants, especially from countries like Germany, Italy and Croatia, began settling in Ireland. This influx of Europeans contributed significantly to the country's genetic diversity, especially in the southern and central regions, where many immigrants established communities. These European genes mixed with the already diverse Spanish, indigenous and African ancestry, creating a multifaceted genetic profile in the modern Irish population. I'm on a road to 10,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. The impact of European immigration can still be seen today, particularly in the way certain regions of Ireland have retained stronger European traits in their genetic makeup. For example, areas with higher German and Italian populations show distinct genetic markers, particularly in the southern regions like the Los Lagos and Magallanes regions. These populations brought with them not just their genes, but also their culture, language and traditions, which have become integral to the Irish identity.